The Accountant stars Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, Anna Kendrick, and John Bernthal, the Punisher himself in all of his epic glory, and is directed by Gavin O'Connor, and it's the story of a young boy who's very socially introverted who deals with autism while also being able to do things like puzzles upside down and extreme math far beyond his years. This boy grows into Ben Affleck, who becomes an accountant for some of the worst criminal organizations in history, and he just might so have a badass set of skills. Now, I loved Warrior. I thought Warrior was really fantastic, so I was looking forward to The Accountant just based on Gavin O'Connor's involvement. The trailer also really sold me. Now, here's what I really like about this movie. Quite a bit. What really surprised me about The Accountant, based on the trailer, is that this movie takes its time to tell its story very slowly. Now, I'm not saying it's slow-paced. I'm just saying it took a surprising amount of effort and care to flesh out its characters. And not just Ben Affleck, but Anna Kendrick's character, who comes in as an associate who first notices a flaw with this one company's numbers, and that's how she meets Ben Affleck, because he gets called in to do the books for this company. J.K. Simmons, as an officer close to retiring, who's working with another girl to figure out who this guy is and where he's from, and he has a very checkered past. And the past is something that's very important to this film, because we flash back quite often to see Ben Affleck's childhood, and we learn about how he was raised, we see how his parents dealt with his autism, how he learned to deal with it, and how this molded him into a person because his dad is like this hardcore military guy who literally takes him to fight trainers to teach him to do all of these really amazing things just as a boy. So when he grows up, not only is he this incredibly smart person who can function at such a high level when it comes to things like math, he also can kick an absurd amount of ass. So he takes both of these traits and combines them to be a very sought after person. See, I know Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are good friends in real life, and I couldn't help but think that this was sort of like a combination of Goodwill Hunting and Jason Bourne, mathematician extremely smart, badass spy, thrown into one. It just, (laughs) I couldn't help but notice the comparison, and it made me smile. But as I said, this movie took a surprising amount of time with its characters to really flesh them out and to give them a backstory and to give them a history. And that's something I appreciated because although I love movies like John Wick that are a little more conventional than The Accountant is, I appreciated that this film really took a lot of time to make us care about these characters so that when there is action, which by the way is extremely well filmed and choreographed, very fast paced and hard hitting bare knuckled, when that happens, you care more about the people that are involved in these sequences because I would hesitate to call this an action film in our common definition of it. It is most certainly technically an action film and you will probably see this blu-ray listed in the action genre when you go to buy it at best buy or whatever but it's more of a drama that contains action sequences that help propel the story along and help flesh out the characters more because the action while fun is never used as just a sequence for action purposes Generally, whenever there is an action scene, it has something to do with the characters. It propels the drama along in some way. It gives them more to talk about and gives us more to be interested in. And I was really impressed by that. This is one of the better performances I've seen from Ben Affleck. I thought he was very excellent as this character. You really want to know what's going on behind his eyes. He is very socially introverted. He has a hard time communicating with people, but at the same time, you can tell that he wants to. And it's such an interesting character as you watch him deal with wanting to snap when things don't go proper for him in the way that his mind wants them to go. And he tries to deal with it through strobe lights and heavy metal music and hurting himself. And I I find that really interesting. And I got to say, as someone who has worked with autistic children in the past, because before I did this, I worked on school buses with handicapped kids. I was a supervisor slash monitor aide for uh, school orthopedic routes. And I can say the kids in this film who portray autistic children did such a fantastic job because sometimes when I see actors trying to do that in movies, they go way over the top. They go very Hollywood and it just doesn't work for me because I've seen it in real life so often. They really got that aspect of this film right and that's something I really respect. I feel though that I must warn you that this is a very unconventional 
narrative. This is a film that doesn't give you all the answers. There are scenes that you see that are played out very early, particularly a jail scene with Jeffrey Tambor and Ben Affleck, and you don't find out what that was until almost the very end of the movie. And there are sequences like that in this film that require you to think and that require you to pay a lot more attention than your average action thriller would. And because this film is so unconventional and different in its approach, that leads me to one of my minor flaws. This film has a lot of comedy, it has romantic comedy, it has action, it has drama, it has a story about parents trying to deal with raising an autistic child, it has a lot of things going for it, and it doesn't always mesh perfectly. The tone is sometimes a little broken, but this is a minor thing, because I appreciated that I was watching a film that told its story differently, that didn't try to do exactly what every other film of this kind does. There's also one scene near the end that is the big exposition dump scene where one character explains a lot of things that we need to know because, as I said, the film has a lot of secrets and keeps a lot of information from us. So when we get to that scene, it's nice to know certain things, but it does kind of go on and on and on and you're like, I get it, you're explaining things. I probably could have figured some of these out on my own. There's also an extremely unexpected scene, and that's all I'm going to say, near the end, and I was just like, I genuinely, that floored me. That that floored me. Guys, the accountant really surprised me. I think this film will not be for everyone. I think some people may go to this film and want a little more action. Some people may find it a little too narratively weird, but I like the fact that this film respects its audience and asks you to be attentive and asks us as audience members to really watch this film and search for the answers. And I think that's really cool. I'm gonna give the accountant an A minus. Definitely check this one out. It's one of Ben Affleck's best performances, and Gavin O'Connor has made another really good movie, I feel. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am running a brand new sponsorship on my channel for my viewers with Adam Tickets. This is a mobile app in which you can purchase tickets and even pre-order concessions right from your phone, which is extremely awesome because who likes lines? I mean, does anyone like lines? I don't... I hate lines. If you go and download the app for Adam Tickets and use my name, Chris, you'll receive $5 off your entire order for the rest of the year. That's pretty awesome. One of the coolest features is Rally My Friends, where you can pick a film a day and time and then send this film to your friends and they can poll whether or not they want to see that one or another one. That is so friggin' cool. So like I said, check out Adam Tickets, the mobile app, and use my name, Chris, and you can get $5 off your order for the rest of the year, and that is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Definitely check out The Accountant. I'm curious to know what you think of this film. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and if you you like this you can click right here and get stuck manized.